Also new at five o'clock, the city of Arvin is going greener after breaking ground on an innovative solar project to power its new water treatment plant. 17 Cecilia Trevino shows you the importance of this plant being independent from the electric grid. Soon, this water treatment plant will go completely off the grid with 5,000 solar panels coming to it. It's a happy day at work for Jerry Lemus, who will soon never have to worry about power outages again in Arvin's wastewater plant. We're going to be able to sustain the plant with uh, no PG&E. I'm not, I don't need to be worried about blackouts anymore. Pretty much all the mechanicals, everything stops. And if it stops, there's going to be no more process. Which isn't good for anyone. If the water is not treated properly, that water will go in and go to the crops uh, and, and not healthy. Something necessary for the water in the valley, which feeds the nation. One of the big ones that uh, we get reduction of nitrates. Uh, we get some phosphorus down as well, some metals. There's a, there's a list of metals that we are getting down during that process. Having an off-the-grid plant will reduce up to 30% of water treatment costs and cut down all greenhouse gas emissions. The 5,000 solar panels will generate enough electricity to power around 200 homes, eliminating 1,055 metric tons of CO2. Arvin is no stranger to sustainability. Sustainability. The city leads the nation for the number of electric car charging stations per capita, and it's also the first city to adopt an all-electric fleet of city buses. A project Limas can't wait to see finished in the plant that's been cleaning Arvin's water for the past decade. If it would be me, it would be like today. The project is expected to wrap summer of 2025 in Arvin, Cecilia Trevino, 17 News.